Hi there, Leo. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo for the week of the 27th. If this one isn't resonating so much, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You might want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. We are looking at the overall energy. I'm also going to pull cards for your person and clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want the extended, go ahead and click the join button down below. It's $10. You get access to all of the extendeds for every sign for an entire month. Or if you prefer your own reading, you can find that info in the description box. I have a $20 reading right now. All right. Having said all of that, this page of wands here could possibly be you. This is Leo Sag Aries energy. Page of wands is often about finding a new path. It could mean some communication coming in for you. Um, with the three of wands here, you can see like she's sort of, you know, charting a course headed off into the sunset. Three of wands can be the idea that something is coming towards you. It's being patient. It's waiting for your ships to come in or waiting to reach the shore here. Sometimes it's about travel. It can be about a long distance connection. I just get the sense that something is on the way here and you may feel like you're in a holding pattern. I'm saying that because we've got the hanged man, Pisces energy, hanged woman in this case. This is a sense of kind of waiting, um, like a pause that you're in. It's seeing things in a different way, um, sort of letting the universe flow things towards you. Even that three of wands is manifesting energy. There's a sense, again, of something coming in for you. Along with the temperance cards, Sagittarius energy there. This is balance in your life. It's, again, patience. Um, I think you may have some good things headed towards you. Maybe one of them is a person. So let's check out this person's energy. Okay, so this is the Unfolding Path Tarot. I'm going to be using the Lightseer's Tarot to clarify. Uh, at the end, I'm going to pull a card for how this person feels about you as well as something that they're thinking or that they need to say. Three of Cups is a celebration card. It can also be a reconciliation card, um, but it is like a celebration, dating, friendship, feeling kind of happy here. And we've got the Six of Pentacles here which is uh, someone giving to you and you giving to somebody else here, queen of pentacles as well. So this is interesting. The six of pentacles is this give and take between two people, right? I give to you, you give to me. It's reciprocity. It's valuing a connection. Queen of pentacles is Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. So there could be an earth sign that's coming towards you, someone with earth in their chart, or someone who's bringing the stability vibe. Grounded, centered, stable. Hmm. There you are. We have the strength card, Leo energy. Uh, being bold, being brave. Um, sometimes this is a holding back kind of a card. Or it's a sign that you are in this person's energy. Okay, that's better. Hmm. We have the two of cups. For some of you, you have a life partner coming in, a very strong connection with the two of cups. That is my favorite relationship card. It's kind of meeting someone who they're equally invested. They want to give, you want to give, especially with the six of pentacles. This is like, we're giving to each other. We're united in this. So you can have a very serious connection coming in. For some of you, there could be reconciliation showing up here. We've got the Ten of Cups, which holy crap. Uh, the Ten of Cups is a wish fulfillment card. It's a happily ever after. Some of you have manifested this. Um, you've wanted this person to come in. You've wanted this long-term relationship. And we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. This is structure and relationship. So your, your love life isn't going to be the same here. You have a commitment coming in. You have a very intense connection coming in. All right, let's clarify it. Okay, I think that's better so that you can see everything here. 
Um, the Hierophant is like structure and relationships, structure and society. So this is like getting married to somebody, you know, locking this down. Holy crap. And you have the Hierophant as well. Um, you may have a marriage coming in here or have children with somebody. Um, I think that whatever this is, is a pretty intense connection. Again, your love life is not going to remain the same. You may have been in like a holding period. You may have been waiting for someone to come back around or waiting for a new connection here. But even this three of pentacles, this is like someone working with you. They're building this connection with you. They're jointly, whoever this is, is a real partner. Um, you're giving to them. They're giving to you. Pentacles are time, energy, effort, value. Four of cups in reverse. For some of you, this is someone who maybe missed out on the opportunity earlier. They may have walked away from a, this connection. They may not have known what they wanted. Um, that four of cups in reverse it's a sense of like not wanting to miss out on a connection. Hold on. This person may have withdrawn from this connection because they didn't feel like it was in alignment for them. They didn't know what they wanted here. Two of Wands. But this is definitely like, let's make some long-term plans with that Two of Wands. Let's choose another path. Um, this is like two years from now, four years from now, six years from now. Two of Wands is definitely a decision-making card. So what is going on here? Uh. Nine of cups in reverse. I don't want to be on my own. I want to be in a couple. I want like an intense connection to somebody else. We have the Empress here as well. Taurus and Libra energy. There's a lot of Taurus showing up here. Some of you are dealing with the Taurus. You have Taurus in your chart. This is the wife, the mom. It's finding you attractive, wanting to settle down, wanting to have some kids with you. Just a very intense connection here. All right, so what is this person feeling towards you or what will they feel towards you? We've got the seven of wands in reverse. This is someone being completely honest with you, completely open. You may not have known the whole story about why they walked away. Huh. And then we have the ace of pentacles. They value you. They value this connection. They're investing in this. This is, I'm going to give you my time, my energy, my effort. This is kind of a big deal. Um, I think a lot of you have... A long-term commitment coming in, possibly a marriage, if that's something that you want, having kids with somebody, settling down. Let's do, let's do what this person's thinking. Huh. I look for you everywhere. You've been on their mind. Leaving you hurt me too. Just being near you is intoxicating. This is someone who is like coming in correct. They're coming in full force. They really want this connection. They really want you. They're not playing around. <clears throat> They're seeking a commitment here. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my readings. Um, if you want the extended, go ahead and click the join button down below. We're going to do feelings, intentions, the advice, and the unknown. And if you'd like to order your own private reading, you can find that in the description box. All right. Thank you so much and blessed be.